Hi, my name is Kate and I work as a radiation scientist and this is my lab. Let's go have a look. Ta-da! Um, we are in a room which is specially designed for what we call a linear accelerator. These guys are in hospitals all over the country and they deliver radiation therapy to people with cancer um, so that you can kill the cancer and you can be nice and healthy. However, this does mean that we're working with radiation which can be quite dangerous. However, I have a personal decimeter on me at the moment that is reading zero sievert so we're nice and safe to be in here. What we have here is we have the head of the LINAC. This is where the radiation beam will come through and it will go down and onto the patient. This is the couch a patient would sit on, although this is not a clinical LINAC, this is just a research LINAC. So the couch will come out, the patient will sit on it and the radiation will be delivered specially for that person and that tumour. We have two types of radiation beams in this LINAC. We have electrons and we have photons. Both are used for different types of treatment. So what do we have? All the sciencey things. We have, here is a tank that is usually filled with water. Now, the reason we have to do our measurements in water is because the human body is made of mostly blood and mostly water, which means that if we want to know the radiation dose that someone has received, we have to do it by comparing it to uh, our measurements in water. So what we have is we will have a decimeter uh, and we have lots of different decimeters uh, which I've got one here with me today. Here, if I unscrew it, this is a pharma chamber. These guys, what will happen is we will put it in a special sleeve and we will put it into either water or we will put it into solid water. So if you look here, we have what we call solid water, which is the same density as water, and it just means it's much less messy to uh, make our measurements with. And what we'll do is we'll put the pharma chamber into, you see there's a hole there, and we will then put it uh, underneath the beam and we will turn the beam on. When we turn the beam on, uh, the the pharma chamber will start to react with the radiation in, in terms that it will, it will start to build up a potential difference. And this potential difference can be measured relative to the dose that it's received. So we, what we do is we have to do lots of different measurements with it. We have to know what size the field is. We have to know what, where the peak is. We have to know the amount of dose, obviously, that we receive. Um, and we just have so many different methods and different types of dose decimeters uh, to figure this out. So sometimes uh, when we do different measurements uh, we have to use something called phantoms. Phantoms are these little boxes full of uh, different objects uh, with a water equivalent surrounding it which is basically supposed to act like a person. So you put it into the beam and you take measurements and you see how that person has reacted to it. So it's a really good way of especially in a clinical setting for making sure that all of the LINAC is running properly. What we do at the in at MPL is we supply the the basic calibration for Linux to make sure that the hospitals around the country know what dose they're giving to their patients because if you get the dose wrong then you can receive too much or too little both not very good so what we do yeah we we do um we do different commissioning jobs but we also do uh people give us their chambers and we basically tell them exactly what what current they receive under different radiation doses and then they go back and they they calibrate all of their decimeters based on what we told them and this chain of events means that everybody's safe whenever they receive radiation treatment Thank you very much for joining me today in my lab. I hope you found it interesting. If you'd like to find out more about what it's like to be a physicist, please look in the tab below to find out some links. Thank you very much.